Hello everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus and today's video I'm going to show an answer to a question on the Autodesk forums about having a uh, railing on top of a, of a beam or, or it could be a slab or whatever with uh, a post at one end and nothing at the other. So I'm just going to do my beam and I'm going to do it, uh, let's do it three meters long. And then I'm going to go to the extended modeling tab, click on hand railing, select objects, so the beam or whatever I'm connecting the handrail to. And now you can see by default it's got four in there, so we have to play around with the post set out values here. So I can put in there maybe three meters, three meters down here. And as well, you'll see that we can turn, if we calculate the distance in there, that button, it displays them or doesn't display them depending on certain values. So if we go to 3200, and then we can see that there is only uh, one post there and nothing at the other end. Now to confirm that there's no doubling up uh, or anything in here, so I'll just do a quick numbering of it. So I'll process single marks and assemblies. And then you can see that we have our uh, assembly numbers here and our single part numbers. So if we go, so you can see that there's only one of those posts, the top rail, the knee rails or the mid rails, and the two kick plates. But you can see there that we only have one so hopefully that's answered your question and uh, if you liked the video click on the thumbs up button if you didn't click thumbs down but please subscribe uh, and click on the notify icon to get a notification of my daily videos thanks